learning curve. There are a million things I didn't know. I have a background in tropical agriculture, having been a Peace Corps volunteer. But you know, high desert agriculture is a whole unique thing. I've been here 45 years. Right. So I was involved in farming thanks to uh, this uh, world organization called American Friends Service Committee. And that's exactly what I was just farming because the land that what I'm working on is right there behind their offices. They have a big piece of land that they help me to get to, to do it. They teach me everything from zero because I didn't know anything about farming. So they train me and then years later I'm also a trainer and years later I'm, I'm still farming and, and, and doing it as, as, a, as a way of living. I think at any moment any one of us can fall in love with anybody, anything, any philosophy, and even a fig tree. All the synapses are waiting in any one of us. It's almost what we don't say as humans. We don't say, I'm loaded, but I don't know what I'm loaded for. I'm pre-programmed, but I don't know what life is going to send to me. I don't know when I'll fall in love. I don't know if it'll be a person or a dog or a cat or a piece of jewelry or a good strudel. I don't know what I'm going to fall in love with. But every one of us are pregnant with that possibility. I fell in love with a fig tree and I haven't I haven't even I haven't even recovered yet. I know there is people who live just by farming because that's their passion, farming. Some other people do it just to pay bills, you know. But some of us, like in my example, I like to farm, but there is some other things that I like to do too. I play music, I dance. So when I mix all those elements, my life gets, my life gets really more interesting and I really enjoy doing it versus just farming. I like, there is a few things that I really, enjoy more like I notice for example when I'm down not the press but when I'm down when I feel like whoa um, I find a place where I can do weeding hand weeding and that helps me to come down so farming has been also helping to me uh, helping me as, 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 um, as a therapy psychological and emotional uh, it is it's a great therapy I mean when you analyze farming as a way of living we, all the human beings come from, from the earth. So we, it's in our DNA to farm. It's a matter of stuff you remember. So definitely that connection, that connection between the earth and myself, by me taking care of the earth, that I'm taking care of my mom, and my mom is taking care of me. So I feel safe. It is a big problem to compete with big companies, of course, because prices, of course, because the way they do it, because they use machines, um, they will definitely keep the market for themselves. Ideally is that we can create more uh, small farms because that is definitely going to help and support the economy of the state. The biggest struggle is the imbalance of it. It's like everything we're devoted to also limits us. I can't take my daughter, my sweetheart uh, to truth or consequences for the weekend because who's going to water my plants? Then we also struggle with uh, climate, ch uh, climate change that happens. This past year it was super hot. It was getting really hot and so many produce were getting bur uh, burned. So. Everything in the, the supermarket is days, if not weeks, old. But if you look at the hands of the people that you're buying at a farmer's market, if you look at their hands and you look at the wrinkles under their eyes, they got up real early this morning and picked before they came to market. Nothing could be fresher. I earn a living doing what I love to do. There's a gift in that. I, I wish everybody that gift that they all do what they really love to do. It makes the life so much more meaningful. We're talking about a waking up, you know, consciousness for the rest of the world. And I'm not saying that I'm an awake one, but I'm, I'm moving towards. And I wish, you know, we all can at one point get together in the same, in the same 
direction and make it happen.